Dear Vartan, I, promise, I ask you not to be emotional, but I am myself very emotional tonight, to be honest. <clears throat> and thank you, Nubar and Vartan, what we're doing with all of you. It's uh, amazing. Uh, but I want to say a few words, which I feel also I prepared some speech, but I decided to change it. You know, I found myself feeling shame a little bit. But I become 49 years old man, successful, and I learned about history of my nation just because we started this project three years ago in details. More I'm reading, more I'm amazed by how many brave people put their lives under risk. How many nationalities have been engaged and involved to save and help Armenians? How many stories we lost that we didn't know about for different reasons? And, you know, when I <clears throat> heard the story about these guys who went and uh, bought out 6,000 kids from these Syrian villages, and I said, I can't believe it. I didn't know. I grew up without knowing this. And I really feel bad about it. I am hope our ignorance and our apathy will be gone because we need to know our history. We, know, we need to know how brave people have been from Protestant missionary, from our own Armenian HBU who have been involved in this whole process as many of the years, about Nubar Pasha and other people who have been engaging in money, and about Near East Live Foundation and many other foundations which we heard the name but a little bit. And in Armenia, if I ask most of the people, we will never know about these heroes. We don't know about these institutions. And I found myself as bad. The same I'm feeling bad about Kerker Koryan who passed away. And today in Armenia, it's like ignore, nothing happened. This guy who's been here, who made this for us as a contribution, and we're not naming no street, no scholarship, nothing. And I said, something wrong in us. We need to be appreciating about people who are doing something for our nation. The second feeling I have, I'm so proud to be here together with all of you. Because really, we're talking about snowing ball effect. We have a snowing ball effect. We had a first year 113 stories, second year 253 stories and only 20% is repeated, which means we got 300 stories which the world doesn't know. And I'm so thankful for not only today is the finalists of this year, but also the finalists of previous year came again. And this is the network. And I, if I may, I want to ask all of you to stand up and say thank you to coming again to Armenia. <laughs> and, and Bernard Kiri and Seda Fadim from, again, and all, and again, it's a something very special. And I want to say, really, what you did is amazing, and we're very thankful. And I believe this is the make us strong. I believe this is make us really successful because we are building a network of the people who see we're not alone. We're doing something together in different parts of the world. But other element of snowing ball, I want to say, when we started this project, it was three of us. And it was a crazy idea. In 2014, we said, let's do it. Let's do differently in 2015. Let's put the message to the Armenia and to the world that the humanitarian values is a key element and we are a nation who suffer more than anybody in the 20th century or like other very uh, different nations who have been suffering in the Holocaust or Rwanda. We know what it means to be suffering under this. And we want to give back. We want to give back the way we want to give what people will feel despite we're not the richest country in the world, despite we're facing a lot of problems, despite we're all uh, under big pressure in economical and social and other psychological, we can do it. And I want to ask, I know, uh, forgive me all my friends who are sitting here, you know, it's three of us become 70 people in 2016 and 200 people today. If, if I may, I don't want to go name I may, and I, this is not the donors, you're not the donors, you're a supporter of the movement. And I may, I ask you all to stand up, people who, support this project and they're in the whole. And I want people to see it. Don't be shy. Don't feel this bad. Please, stand up. I want to be able to see who support the project. I want to say we are a network. We are the powerful people who make really this all possible. And I want to say really, brothers, sisters, thank you. We are doing something which is we are to be proud. I want to say thank you again for all of you doing this for, I think for the world, because for our future generation. And I believe it's the only way we can do, we need to do together. Thank you.